A 736 Newton man stands in the middle of a frozen pond with a radius of 7 meters. He is unable to get across the other side because of a lack of friction between his shoes and the ice. To overcome this difficulty, he throws a 1.2 kilogram physics textbook horizontally toward the north shore at a speed of 7 meters per second. How long does it take him to reach the south shore? So you have the weight of the man at 736 newtons. The radius of the pond is 7 meters. The mass of the textbook is 1.2 kilograms, and the velocity of the textbook is 7 meters per second. So we can divide the, the weight of the man by 9.8 meters per second squared for gravity. It's going to give us the mass of the man. Seventy five point one zero kilograms. And now we can use the conservation of momentum, which is this equation here. The final momentum is equal to the initial momentum. And there's two particles in this in the system, so P1 is going to be the man, and P2 is going to be the book. And P or the momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity. We can combine all those three equations to make a new one, where the mass of the man times the velocity of the man plus the mass of the book times the velocity of the book final it's going to be equal to the mass of the man times the velocity of the man plus the mass of the book times the velocity of the book initially And since he's standing there not moving, and he throws the book to get moving, that means that the velocity of the man and the velocity of the book are going to be zero initially. So this side is going to be equal to zero. So you can subtract um, the mass of the book times the velocity of the book over. I'm going to get negative mb dB and divide by the mass of the man. to get the velocity of the man. So that's going to be, I was doing my calculator, 75, 1.2 for the mass of the book, times the velocity of the book, which is 7 meters per second, divided by 75.1. times negative one, yeah. So it's gonna be negative 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 112 meters per second. And it's gonna be negative because if you throw the book to the right, the man is gonna to move to the left. Positive x direction, negative x direction. It's just showing the direction of movement. So we can take 0 0.112 meters per second of the man and we need to find how long it takes him to reach the south shore and we have a radius of 7 meters So we can take 7 meters divided by this the velocity of the man, which is 0 0.112 meters per second. 
and if you divide by a fraction, it'll be flipped, which is equal to seven meters over one times one second over 0 0.112 meters. The meters will cancel and you're left with seconds. So seven, seven meters divided by 0.112 is gonna give us 62.5 seconds. For how long it takes him to cross the lake.